Deborah here from The Prep Pursuit. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is a style tip about how to thrift store shop. It's no secret I love thrift store shopping. It's one of my favorite places to find some really great hidden gems. And if you go to a nice part of town, maybe something that you know is a little bit more ritzy where there's a higher affluent, higher income amount of people living there, you are sure to find some really nice items, especially some nice labels and just some higher quality garments. I know TJ Maxx and Ross and Marshalls are not thrift stores, but the same goes for there. So bonus tip early in the video. But if you shop at stores in certain areas that have higher income or People that live there, you know, are a little bit more affluent, you'll find some nicer items on the racks. So definitely try to use that tip when you're out shopping. Now I've got a couple of other tips for you today when you are thrift store shopping. One of my favorite stores if you ever come through Dallas or if you live here in Dallas is Thrift World of Dallas. It's located on Forest Lane. I usually go once either a month or once every other month and every time I go I find some really really cute stuff actually everything I'm wearing today in this video this sweater and also um, this jacket are from the thrift world of Dallas store the necklace I got from somewhere else but I love what I find there and so I definitely have a couple of tips that never steer me in the wrong direction when I am shopping so let's get to it. The first tip is going to be, I look at the quality of a garment. So let's take this jacket for example. When I saw it on a hanger, I picked it up and I looked at it and I'm looking at the fabric, it's pretty thick. So I like to look for higher quality garments, things that are thicker, that are more durable, personally because I love fashion and also because I spend so much time looking at clothes, whether it's clothes at home or clothes while shopping. I look at little tiny details like the stitching and I look at, you know, to see if there are any threads poking out. No offense, but Forever 21, you know, the clothes tend to be thinner. They're made of a fabric that is a little bit cheaper and so the materials because they're cheaper the quality of the garment is not the same as something else that you may find at a higher price store and of course you get what you pay for but when you're thrift shopping I don't necessarily shop for labels that's tip number two I don't look at only the label or the tag in the garment I look at you know the actual piece of clothing that I'm holding in my hands and I see how it feels I, I think about how it's gonna feel on my skin wearing it is it itchy is it going to cause me to be irritated and uncomfortable or is it you know a smooth fabric that I can wear and I'd be happy wearing um, but again I look for that kind of thicker fabric so that like higher quality garment and I don't look just at labels so that's tip number two now the third tip is what I like to do is if I'm in the back of a store or maybe on the side or a corner where there's no window is I take what I'm wearing, what I'm holding, and I go stand towards the front of the store. Of course, not at the door, but maybe if there's a window on either side, I like to look at the color. I'm looking to make sure that there are no stains. Typically on tops, sometimes even on dresses, especially if it's a sundress or a cardigan, those are kind of two items that I look at the area under the arm to make sure that it's not yellow, especially if something is a lighter color. So if it's a pastel, if it's a yellow or a white, I'm always looking you know, at the armpit, underarm area of the garment to make sure that it's not stained from either sweat or anything else and just in general I'm making sure that there are no stains on the garment so that I'm buying something that I don't have to then pay more than what I paid for the item to get it dry cleaned or the stain removed or whatever the case may be. Okay so the next tip is going to be that when I am thrift store shopping I'm always going to make sure that things are functional. Yes, fashion and function can come together as one. It's true. So I make sure that the buttons work, that the zippers work, they don't get stuck when I'm, you know, zipping it up or zipping it down. And, you know, the worst thing you can do is spend money on something that you love and you're really, really excited to get it. And then you go home and try it on and 
you can't even zip it up. That's like such a heartbreak because most thrift stores have a store policy of no return. So that means you can't take it back and get your money in place for giving them their garment back. So you want to make sure that things are fully functional before you leave. Okay, next tip. So when I'm thrift store shopping, I typically like to shop on a mission. And usually when I go in, I'm looking for something particular. You know, whether it's sweaters or cardigans, or if I'm looking for a sundress or a little black dress, or just in general, maybe I'm gonna say, okay, today's all about coats and blazers or jackets and blazers. I'm going in looking for a certain particular item. So that helps me kind of as I'm organizing my search, I'm not going to spend time in the store scouring it from back to front. Yes, I've done it before, but it takes hours because a lot of times thrift stores are not as organized sometimes as other stores like department stores, sizes and colors and types of garment are just all over the place and everything is kind of a little chaotic. So if you don't want to spend all day in a thrift store because you've got other errands to run, other meetings to accomplish and other things to do make sure that when you go in you've got a mission set you've got something in mind that you're looking for and the last tip the very last tip it's something so simple that you almost could have guessed it but you want to buy things that you love now of course you're going to like a lot of things that you see but there's no point in spending money whether you're shopping at a department store at nordstrom or if you're shopping at a thrift store at goodwill or st vincent de paul wherever you're shopping never buy anything unless you love it because you're probably not going to wear something that you just like a little bit or you could kind of maybe see yourself wearing it someday but if you know that you're not going to wear it and you're not going to use it and love it and cherish it don't buy it because someone else will love it and cherish it and you're just missing the opportunity from them and taking it for yourself and you already know you're probably going to wear something like just one and done so don't waste your money and don't waste your time leave it on the rack and someone else can pick it up to glorify their lives and glorify their closets now stay tuned to this channel because i will be not only showing you a video of me thrift store shopping live in the store but i'll also be talking to you about how you can mix and match different pieces and so you'll get a lot of really cool style tips coming up so make sure you stay tuned while you're staying tuned go ahead and subscribe today because I post videos every single week and you'll want to stay connected and stay updated on what I'm talking about when I've got something new to share. Now, if you found this video helpful, feel free to like it below, share it with a friend because of course we all can thrift store shop and save a little money and have a little fun. I enjoy it. It's like a treasure hunt. It's kind of like an adventure. Like shopping is like my cardio. I know it's a shirt, yeah, but it's also like true for me because I love just going out and looking for things and sometimes I may spend an hour, maybe two hours and I'm only going to buy one thing but I've had such a great time looking for something and it's always really cool to find something that you don't expect at a thrift store like a couple of the items I'm wearing today. Now before I go I just want to say thank you for joining me today, thanks for stopping by the channel and I will see you again in another video about style, etiquette, and culture to help you live a chic and polished life. See you soon. Bye.